Right, so we've got Cheltenham ladies manager Tom Davis here ahead of the return to lead action uh, this weekend against Portsmouth at Kate Lane. So, Tom, it's been a few weeks, hasn't it, since our last league game against Chatham. How would you reflect on that uh, bid 3-0 win three weeks ago? It was a really good performance. I thought first half we, we started really strong. We, we took the game to them. Um, we implemented the things that, that we spoke about, you know, following the, the sort of Cardiff game uh, where we were unable to kind of break their block a little bit. We've worked really hard and I think you've kind of seen that in, in the games against uh, London Bees and in, in the games against um, Billericay as well, where we've kind of come up against blocks in, in certain moments. And, and, and yeah, I thought we were really positive with that. Took the game to them and, and kind of had it, um, I had ourselves in a really strong position come half time and, and naturally second half was a little bit different um, again just managing momentum but again felt we were really positive you know we moved the ball really well we we pressed well and we limited them to kind of no real kind of opportunities um, and then obviously polish the game off later on and, and we're able to get some some reserve team players on, on the pitch which is part of our our plan and our pathway um, but yeah overall like I said it was a really good day out like three points clean sheet we've got players in um, plays good minutes and and yeah, ended down a positive one, so so all good. Yeah, so obviously the, the that three week break we've just had. Obviously we had the uh, friendly against West Brom last weekend. So how um number two part really? How was it good to get that it's uh, that that match fitness in really last week? And of course back to league action this week as we welcome Portsmouth. Yeah, of course. Um, West Brom obviously um, tier three as well on a really good side and, and an established side in, in the division and. A really good game. Um, I felt you know there was um some really good good things from from our perspective. Um, there's moments where they started figuring things out, and then and then we had to come up with different solutions. And I know it'd been the same for them. Um, I felt they were really good value for it, and it's unfortunate because we've been really good in front of goal. Um, with our chances and and creating and taking them, and and was a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, again, I felt we limited them to to a couple of chances. Um, of which I scored a really good goal, but but yeah, I felt that we should have potentially taken. Taken a few more of ours, but the result was not the important bit. It's the performance, and look, I'd rather those those um, situations happen in a friendly than than in league action. But but overall, it's good. You know, we played well. We we were good value for ourselves. We created good chances, like I said. And you know, on different days they go in. So for us, it was good. Good to get minutes in. Um, strong in terms of the way that we finished and, and the way that we were. So really happy with that. And yeah, Portsmouth really looking forward to that one. Like it's it's a it's a great opportunity. You know, the last two are you know, the top two. Um, and it's a phenomenal opportunity for us, you know, being comfortably safe now to to really go and test ourselves against the best two teams in, in this division this year. Yeah, like you say, a bit of a free hit in a way where we played Portsmouth this weekend, already promoted. How would you look to really combat a side, of course, when you look at the uh, first game of the season, the five now, much different side from then? Yeah, um, very different. Obviously, we were kind of like a new, new group coming together and, and now... Now we're obviously a little bit more established. Mm-hmm. Same for them. You know, they, they had a bit of a transition in terms of bringing players in to the off-season and, and, and that culminated in that game. But, but yeah, look, uh, as much as Portsmouth are promoted and, and you know, they've got that and they've, they've absolutely earned it, is, I know I know Jay Wall and I know that his side will be very much and are very focused on, on getting six points out of their last two games. And it'll be a very tough test and there's going to be no change in that. So, uh, like I said, we were excited for that. That's what we wanted. We wanted to play the the top two teams in this division. We want to test ourselves and and see where we're at. Um, but, you know, in terms of where we're at at the moment, the way we're playing, the the confidence that we have from, from last month um, and, and players being fit and available, like we're in a really good space. So, you know, we're going to attack it with what we've got and, and like I said, see where we're at. But we're confident, like we're always confident that if we put our best performance out, that we can go and get results. And we've done that against the, the best sides in this division so far. So I don't see any reason why that can't continue um, over the over the coming weeks. Yeah, and just finally, Tommy, you alluded it to it a bit there, but how important with the final two games at Kate Lane uh, this season, Portsmouth, obviously on Sunday and hashtag in a fortnight's time, how important is it to just end strongly at home as we have really all season? Yeah, um, we always want to, we always want to play well. And I think, like I said, it's about performances for us. It was performances through March, although we knew that results were important performances now we want to just keep building on those performances we feel that and, and the West Brom games are a really good example like we didn't put any detail into it we didn't do any analysis we didn't kind of do any preparation that we wouldn't do normally so just normal training regime just normal kind of stuff and and the way that we played was was kind of a real kind of stomach of, of how we've been this season 
um, how we are kind of in transitions, in possession, out possession. So it's really positive that I feel we've got that really strong identity now. Um, and now it's about kind of refining. So again, playing against the top two teams in the division gives us the opportunity to do that. We're going to come up against some phenomenal players and, and our job is to to show how good we are and, and that's where we're going to be. And it brings us into the end of the season, into, into pre-season. Um, but we've now got a group together that are understanding of each other, understand their roles, understand how it connects. And and yeah, it's a really positive, positive thing for us. Having both at home is great um, so that we can build on the crowds we've been getting and, and you know, we're really appreciative of the sport this year and, and, and what we've been able to build. So, yeah, we're just looking forward to being at home, being in front of um, our crowd, not travelling, which I know is a, a big thing, um, especially with some of the distances. But, yeah, having having home comforts, um, being able to tack it in front of our fans and, and go after the last two games, like I said, with no pressure, but, you know, we want to perform and that's important to us. Um, but there's no pressure, so that means that we can play with that freedom and play with that creativity and, and, and hopefully, like I said, go and get some some good results to, to finish the season with.